Well, it has begun. The drum set is torn down and some of the amps are moved. A lot of the amps are moved. Um, drums still haven't gone downstairs, still stuff in the hallway. And this room is full of all my stuff that was out in the, out in the other room. All the guitars, all the amps, they're all in here. Just a truck full of crap. I don't know why we're doing this, but remodel of studio, here we come. guys it's been crazy 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 drought here in Utah and we're starting starting to finally get some rain it's in this is August 1st I'm taking this video and it's starting to lightning and thunder so I'm just out here getting some footage I'm hoping we get some rain it's been a battle trying to just keep my lawn alive this year because <laughs> they've been talking about the drought so much they haven't been wanting us to water or anything like that it's been crazy Mostly getting it out. Whoa, mostly getting it out there. If any of you guys know how to get rid of bats, we get a bat that comes up here and craps, it leaves its crap up here, down here all the time. So I don't know how to get rid of bats. I've tried spraying up there. I don't know what else to do. So all the carpet has been torn out of here. It sounds completely different in here gonna sound weird with wood floors but it's okay I kind of like the room sound it's more of a live sound but we're gonna have to put some if you're a studio guy you know what I'm talking about you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to treat the walls again I might put down a I'm gonna have to put a rug underneath the drum set um, there's gonna be some treatment over there or this I'm probably gonna make this section over here into a vocal booth um, but you anyway, this is gonna be a lot of work I think I'm gonna repaint this room uh, the door is gonna go right here at the very end of the hallway before you hit the stairs. Um, and it kind of sucks because I've got just everything that I own almost is in this room. And in my room uh, where my normal office is and in the basement. So I've got like three, two rooms full of stuff. And in the basement, I've got my drums and a bunch of other stuff. So it kind of, kind of sucks, but uh, I think in the end, it's going to be a really great looking studio and be able to be more creative and get reorganized and have more of a workflow. It should be good. We're also doing our whole downstairs with new floors, which should be really cool. My wife's excited about that. Sounds completely different down here without the carpet in, uh, but that's okay. Kind of more of a live room sound. Um, so this guy just got done tearing out all the carpet. They're going to tear all the baseboards off. They're going to have to build a subfloor here where the carpet used to be. 
and then they're just gonna lay the new floors over this tile right here. Uh, we're gonna leave this carpet, leave this carpet, and the stairs, we're gonna leave the carpet up to where it was ripped out. So, yep, exciting, but a lot of work, and I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also not looking forward to it, if that makes any sense. fueled up ready to go tonight I am playing a gig at a campground uh, up in beautiful uh, Eden Valley up near Ogden Utah area I am not singing one song this is a, a these are this is a great gig for me because I just have to hang out and play guitar so no mic stand just guitar stuff and we are ready to go. Uh, I kind of hate these outside gigs where I don't think we even have a stage. I don't know if they have any wood on the ground for us. So I usually bring some kind of carpet or something to put down for my pedal board just because I know the grass will usually be wet. Or you never know what these gigs are going to be like, these outside camp. It's a campground gig, but it's like a nicer campground. Anyway, let's go do it. Let's go. All right guys, so this is the venue. I'm almost positive. They're probably gonna ask us to set up right by where these, all these water, like this dunk tank is. These kids coming down this little water slide here. I guarantee you we're gonna be set up by water. There's people throwing water balloons. Uh, most of these gigs are not very thought through. The people that, the people that book these don't think, oh, the band has electricity. They can set up near water and wet grass. And anyway, we're at like a at a campground. So this is gonna be a very interesting night. Um, Tom and Deanne just actually pulled up. I think they're over here. I think Deanne's over there. So we better figure out what's going on, I guess. They're not even set up yet. There's I don't see a trailer for the drums like I was told there was gonna be. I don't see a trailer anywhere. So one of these gigs. Hey everybody, it's Deanne! Woo! How are you? <laughs> I always forget how tall you are. All right, guys, so they're actually playing some music, so hopefully this video doesn't get uh, demonetized because there's music playing in the background here. <laughs> but this is our setup at the campground tonight. Uh, 
Just the usual suspects. Katana. Iridium. Pod HD 500. Someone needs to tell Deanne about the Helix. Guys, that's Tom. Guys, that's Chris. Wait, what kit are you using today? Sweet!
sitting off to the side. They're just fine where they're at. I can see them just fine. But I want the pretty faces over here. Oh, see, he's thinking about it. He's considering. Yeah, there's people over here too. We can see them. <laughs> They just way too long. Last March, they were just like, "Oh, we're just gonna be shaggy and hairy." Way too long. Chris does it all the time back here. He he gets hairy and then he and, he, and then he cuts things and then he gets hairy again. I don't know what that means. It's not bad today. I don't know either. But these two have cleaned up. Thank God. <laughs>
So, pretty fun weekend playing with that band was called Red Shot Pony, and I've known Tom and Deanne, they're married, husband and wife duo, I've known them for, I don't know, about 12 years or more, um, but, and played with them on and off just here and there when they need me. But as you can tell, uh, I've got some floors in the studio here. Uh, they have... Uh, 
they are almost done with the floors, but they ran out um, right by the bathroom over there and by the control by the, the main control room area. So kind of bummed about that. I don't know uh, when they're going to have get the material in. Um, so I'm kind of sitting here in limbo, not being able to really set things up until and redo everything until that's done. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I can start working on some stuff, I guess. But yeah, anyway, you guys, uh, if you made it this far in the video, as always, <laughs> thanks for watching my little adventure weekends and vlogs. And please like and subscribe and hit that bell that notifies you when I release new videos. And we'll see you next time. Later.